Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Benjamin, and welcome to another Let's Pixel video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing some animations, uh, simple animations and a simple attack frame for this character. Well, actually, we'll do a normal stance frame first. And this character is a demon from the game that I'm making with my brother, Demon Lock. We're making it in two months. There will be a link in this video to our devlogs for that if you want to check it out. So this demon is called Sindel. And I've already got this first frame here that I designed. This is kind of an attack frame, actually. And so for most of the demons, I'm going to be making their attack frames. But for this one, I need to actually convert this into a normal stance. And then once I've converted this into a more normal stance, then I can animate its idle animation. And so that's what I'll be doing first. So very first, I'm going to take this and I'm going to convert it into a normal stance that's not an attacking one. Okay, so here's the normal frame. This will be the one that will be turning into an idol. And then here is the attack frame that I can use afterwards during an attack. I think it's a pretty good transition between these two frames. The attacks aren't, aren't going to be animated. They're going to have a single frame. Uh, so because of that, I have to make it... It has to be a pretty good transition between these two frames right here. Even though it's quick, it should look okay because the attacks will be quick as well. So now I'm going to start animating the idol here. I'm going to try and do this in, I'm planning on about three, well let me, hold on, I got to make sure I save this properly here. So uh, we'll save this as Sindowl, and we'll make sure it's an ASC file right here. Save that. Okay, so. I'm going to try and do this in about three frames. We'll see if I can get a three frame idol that looks pretty good. I, I have to do an idol animation for all of the different demons in the game. So I want to make sure that it's not going to be too, too difficult to get an idol frame for each of them. And in those three frames, I'm going to try and get some motion on the, the fire up here. I'm going to get some motion on the head moving around and the wings as well. And that's going to be the main areas that I'm going to focus on moving around for the idol. Okay, well, I just happened upon this little accident, but the pose is way better when I lean the head forward like that. So I'm just going to get rid of the original and keep this one because that really helps sell the pose when the head is leaned forward like this and the wings are coming back like this. It looks way better. I'm gonna see if I can get the head move forward in the attack frame too. Might actually make sense to move the head even further forwards in the attack frame here because it'll be leaning into this attack. We'll see if I can get that to look good as well. Okay, yeah, so that was uh, that was a good little accident. I wasn't planning on that, but sometimes that happens. Sometimes you do something and uh, you realize that it looks better and you just keep that instead of what you had before and that's kind of fun. Okay, so now let's actually get to that idol. I like this transition a lot more too, so... So I've got three b basic frames in here. I'm doing a, a kind of like a 
primary motion i'm not sure exactly what to call this but a primary motion and then like a secondary motion where i move the head first and then i move the wings down after and that creates kind of like a, if you move everything all at once it can kind of feel really static and so moving certain things at different times can help with that having motions with different timings i'm going to add a new tag here we'll call this idle and using that tag i should be able to play this animation it's going to play way too fast to make sense but we can kind of see some of the issues that it's going to have because of that speed let's slow all of these frames down let's make them 300. okay so this is a really simple animation we've got an issue where this pixel just moves and it just doesn't look good anymore there in fact we need it back here so what we could do is keep it here like that. So now what we could do is we could, even though this is technically an extra frame, I might actually do, it's actually pretty easy to do this, uh, to add, can I drag this over? I think I just have to set it to four here. I can take our first frame, which is back to normal, and then I can copy the frame where the wings are down here. Just copy the wings like this and uh, copy those into this first frame. And of course, we're gonna have to do a little bit of fixing here. But then what we get is, we get the head goes down, the wings go down, the head goes up the wings go ba back up when we get back around on her to our first frame. And this is a really basic idle animation. Like I'm not doing anything fancy with sub pixel movement. It's just the very basics, but this can actually look pretty good. Even though it's super simple. You can add quite a bit of life to the character. So now we have to get our fire to do stuff across these frames so that it feels alive. And in order to do this, I want to be a lot more loose. So I'm going to take... Hmm. I wonder if we could... I wonder if we could move this fire slower than the... than the head to... The head goes down, then the fire goes down, head comes back up, and then the fire comes back up. Nah, I don't like that. Sometimes you just gotta try it, see what it's gonna look like. But that didn't look good. I'm going to use this kind of lighter color to draw the fire at first while I'm animating it. Okay, so I've got the basics for the flame animation and I'm not entirely happy with it yet. 
but it's good enough for now. I might end up fixing it later, coming back in and giving it another try. This will be good enough, and I want to move on. So I'm going to just clean it up now, and then I think that'll be it for the idle animation. So let me get that cleaned up. Okay, I've been cleaning it up for quite a while now, and I think this is going to be good enough for the idle frame, or the idle animation. And then we'll have the attack animation here. When it moves forward, it'll be just the single frame. So, pretty excited about how this is going to look in the game. I'm going to give it a test later on today, and we'll probably be sharing that in the devlogs that we make. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something from it, even if it was just simple. And I will talk to you all later.